Remember, this is just fan fiction. It's imaginary. Please watch it on risk. Some of pictures shared in this video is not my credit goes to the right owner. No copyright intended. Only on this editing, storyline, and voiceover. Please don't copy my work. English is not my first language, so. Sorry, I don't speak English very well. Thank you. Now you act like you didn't hear me. He said this way, watching her husband still typing on his laptop. Then she's got. Alright, keep doing this. Now I don't care. Jin walks out of his work room and closes the door with a bang. He closes his eyes and touch his inside cheek. After a few seconds, he sighs and continues working even though his mind still on his angry way. So what happened at Wesh? Two days ago, he left to go to Wusan for a meeting and come back early morning. He feel bad for him after looking at his tired face. Is he planning to make his favorite food in the morning before he went to work? That morning, after she stone made his favorite and it was about to wake him up, he suddenly came downstairs in a hurry. He told her he needed to go to the office as soon as possible. She told him that she already made his favorite. He feels bad and told her to pack the food and he will eat it at the office. But then at night, suddenly come home. He's got a little mad because he's still so tired after just coming back from Busan. But instead of coming back like that, and she asked him why he took He told her that his friend invited him to. She looked at him in disbelief. Then she got even more mad when she found out that he didn't eat the food made by her that morning. And she told her that he didn't eat anything since morning, making her that he can't do anything in his condition that time. Then the next day he got sick, just like what she thought. But what makes her even more, she still just reminded to go to work. They started a fight, and at the end she left first to go to school. He thought, friends come back home. He will apologize, but he didn't. He said he went to his work room and continued working until now. He got extremely mad because he said he already ate at the office, but it turned out it was actually in the afternoon. Widom still told him to eat, but he ignored her. That's how she eventually gave up and left. Morning. He woke up but didn't find her beside him. But he shied it off because she usually wake up before him to prepare breakfast. He thanked for last night. He actually regretted after getting landed fun. But it was actually his friend's fault. He actually drifted him out of his own company. To go to. Then about her food, he didn't eat it yet that time because she right away went to the meeting room when he just arrived at the company. He planned to eat it at break time, but suddenly the client from the boat came and makes him wish to create to a sudden meeting. Then after that, he just forgot about eating, and his friends suddenly came and dragged in her mouth. And what makes this worse is so failing his already angry ways. It's the bad things and he can't do anything at that time. Then the next day he hurriedly went to work even though he was sick. Was because the meeting that showed the help yesterday got her schedule and the plan just can't attend it in the morning. He got a sudden call and he woke up from his secretary because he can't call him at night. He thought, because he was in a hurry, explaining about what really happened at will take time, and maybe it would lead somewhere misunderstanding. 
And he will be running late as well. So he planned to tell her when he came back. But when he was home again, a sudden call from Jen flying from a boat telling him about the deal it really made. But if he sent the final files right away, it was not the client fault because he started working on that final file yesterday. Right when it was done and meeting with them. But all their schedule pangies, friends and all, making him forget about it. His head still hurting when she came to his work room and got right away finding him working. He was about to tell her everything, but he was in that condition to speak something wrong and to make. And she also already so mad at him. That's why he didn't speak anything. He slapped her that angry. Now, after thinking about it, he decided to call his secretary as he knew there's an important meeting again or not. She cut it a call and smiled. Thankfully, there is some files that need to be done, but the date was still a few days again. And so he decided to make out with his wife first. And the fact that he still conditioned sick made him even more goldy. He already told his secretary he would take a day off the day. I will start working in the files tonight after make it up to her. But if she allow me to. If he goes little and then check the time. He stood up. I readily apologize for her to go to school. Then take some rest so that she won't get worried again. He smiled, take a quick shower. He come down, but first he goes when he finds no one. There's nothing at the table as well. Usually she will still cook and laugh at the table. Even though she's mad at him, she must have had his temples. She really strong this time. She even left early without even cook for her dear husband. He sat down and tried to call her, but she didn't pick up the call. What should I do? I need to apologize now, or it will get worse. It's half a day because the next day off is in three days. He closed his eyes, he don't want to think about the possibility that it happens if you wait until the day. He tried to call her again, but she still didn't answer him, and he tried again. His eyes widened, and suddenly the call said as he switched off the phone. He sighed, but then he suddenly got an idea. He smiled. Okay, Lacey. Now you're ignoring me, huh? Then she stared at his wallpaper. They had her feet, but she was sprinting her nose while looking down. She was so chill in that pitch, as he scraped with silk. Were you still ignoring me? I stand in front of you. at the hallways while the students shouted because almost all of them recognized him. It was already a lunch break and he came at the time the students is outside the class. They were drowning over him. Why not? He's the most popular handsome CEO in the whole career. He's still quite young as well. The students been drawing over him even though they already knew that he's the pretty teacher's husband. She also knew that his wife is popular in the school because of how pretty and soft she is. But even though she's so soft that her students, no students take advantage of it and they also pay her. She stopped at one of the group of girls that were at him shop because she stopped in front of them. Can anyone tell me where is her office? He 
tell this lie at the school a few times, but this is the first time I come inside the school for her. One of the girls speaks. We can take you better, so we know you didn't smile, making them almost faint. Then all of them walk, but they came to their teacher's office, where a lot of students also following him behind. Jesus is smile again at them. Thank you so much. They quickly nodded. Then look at the door and watch what a nod. Where all the students are still there watching him about the news that they cheer. So they didn't get excited. But when he was about to nod, suddenly the door opened from inside. He smiled as he opened the door. But she flinched when he sits on her husband standing there outside her room. But she looked behind him and found a lot of students there. She looked at her husband again with wide eyes. What are you doing here? She tried to whisper it but failed because some of them heard it her and squalling. He smiled and suddenly hugged her, making the students shout at him shocked and excited man. Her eyes widen. I miss you, Wesley. The student honor after his work, but some of them hugging each other or fighting the color of their uniform. She closes her eyes so she can't help but get shot, and her cheeks become red. She tried to hug and look at him while staying with her eyes, telling him he has their kiss. He just smiled. I really come here because I miss you. It's big with a cute face, making the students even more than they already is. She immediately takes his right arm and pulls him inside her office, making him scratch with smile. She looked at the students and speaks before she closed the door with visible red cheeks. You will go back to class now. He smiled at her and bowing and immediately left the way he was going, making her face palming herself. She curses her arms with a mad expression, looking at her husband, who sat in front of the chair while looking around her room. He smiled and he found their picture at her table. What are you doing here? She looked at her and stood up, slowly come close to her, but pouting a little. I can't say sorry. He said softly, making her scoff. Now you say sorry. He came even more close to her and slowly hugging her again. She didn't protest, but she actually missed him badly. And also because he can still feel his body burning a little when he hugged her in front of the students before. I'm sorry, I swear it's definitely not like what you think. He said, putting his face more deeper in her neck. Now she can feel it more that he's still burning, but she still didn't hug him back. Get away, I need to work. To go back to your office and work as well. She says the cut secretly, making him proud even more. I'm sorry, gang. I took a day off today and about to apologize in the morning, but you already left. We just sighed and tried to break the heart, but he tied in it even more. Forgive me, please. She sighed again. You know what she has done these past few days has been a fine thing, right? She nodded. I know, and I regret it badly. Why now? You've managed so hard these past few days. 
Are you just bad now? So I'm ready to come back. I know, but please forgive me this time. I promise I won't do that again. I just really know about why you think. It's got and try harder to break the heart. But even though I see, it's so stronger than her. Believe me, you should this time. He still didn't move. I tried to force him again, but she suddenly stopped. And her eyes widened, and she followed him on her neck. She got goosebumps, and he pulled out, but he cannot track him out of place. And just like that, he proceeds to give her, but she tries to stop him at first, but gave up, and she knows she won't stop until he does it his fire. Enjoying it as well. This missed him so much. After a few minutes, he stopped and pulled his face back. Look at his eyes, he's sweating while glaring at him. While staring at her as well. His eyes then traveled down the and got red after to stop her from making any sounds. But as far as she knows, her students, be sure, are still outside her office. Oh, they hurry, beating so fast. She didn't look at her eyes, and she was about to open her mouth. But before she can yell at him, he pulled her in. After a few minutes, one of them pulled out. They stared at each other and then suddenly punched his back, making him groan in pain. Why did you hit me? It hurts so much. He really looked in pain. She fell back right away and carried him back where she punched him. This is just the start of the punishment. My little, if even those alone, he still knows she's worried about him. He cupped her cheek. I'm deeply sorry. I promise I will tell you everything when we get home. You better. You can help her again and rest his forehead on her shoulder. But he still feels kind of weak. She understood and carries in his hair. After a few seconds, she speaks. I will tell Mr. Bean to please my class. Let's go home now. They will talk to her and immediately nod at what they chose, making her smile. They couple making out. My students become suspicious about their creative teacher at absent after Hanson has been gone. They think about any weird reasons. Because she didn't come again for the next one week.